Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mufasuke channel. Today we are going to sketching part with the Grapid software. Okay, first open your Grapid software. You can double click on icons and in it I will use demo versions. The next uh, I will change unit for this drawing. So you can click layout and click uh, preference. The next you can click on units. In it, I will set into millimeter. You can click OK to apply. First, uh, we can create circle. So you can click this icon, circle. You can click start from this point. And I will give a diameter in here. We can set into 22, press enter. So you can use scroll mouse to zoom in and zoom out. Or you can press scroll mouse to use pen, this to use pen. We create again circle, start from uh, the center points, and I will set into 28 for diameter. We create again in here, we can set into 34. Click again, we can set into 45. And the last circle with uh, diameter about 52, you can press enter. We can create circle at this point, so quadrant, and we can set into 5. The next we cut again, we can set into 12, we can press enter. You can uh, click this icon, selections, and we can select uh, the circles. You can press the delete button to delete the selected object. Okay, the next we can rotate this uh, object, this uh, two circles, you can select, and you can click at uh, this point, hold, and use uh, this option, rotate. Okay, you can click from center point in here. And for rotate, we can set into 45 for angle. You can see at this point, you can set into 45. You can press enter. So it will be rotated into 45. The next, I will create circle with tangent. You can click at this uh, icon, hold, and just at uh, this tangent, release. Okay, you can click at this point and also click in here. But first, we need uh, to set for a diameter in here into 14. And you can click at this point. So to go the yeah, diameter with 14 for the circles, we create again, start from this point into this point. Okay. The next, uh, I will use trim command. You can click this uh, trim icon and press uh, shift button hold. Okay. You can select uh, this uh, objects and then you can select in here and also at this circle. Now you can click at this point to cut and click this point to cut. Press uh, shift button again, hold, click in here and in here. Now we select at this point and also in here. Release and we can cut these uh, circles and also in here. So it will be cutting. You can use a uh, select and tools again, selection tools again and you can select uh, these uh, all objects. And I will use a uh, polar array to copy these objects. You can uh, click at uh, this icon, hold and choose uh, this option polar duplicate for center point you can click in here and you can click at the center point so it will be automatically changed for number we set into four and you can click ok so it will be copy into four the next we use a uh, trim command again you can click this uh, simple trim icons press shift button hold and you can select at uh, this objects okay you can select uh, one by one and now we can release and click at uh, this point to delete. Click here and the last at this point. So we already created uh, this uh, simple to this cap part. The next uh, we can set a projection for uh, front view. You can use uh, line tools in here, single lines. Click start from this point, quadrant. Okay, move to the top here. Click again, start from this point, move to the top. Okay, the next you can click from this point, move into this point, click again from this point, quadrant into here, and the last from this point into this point. Okay, now I will create lines, start from this point, into this point. You can use offset tools, you can select uh, this object, click hold, and click here, offset. You can offset in here into 
three comma sorry into three and you can click ok so it will be offset into three the next uh, i will select uh, these objects and we offset again into minus five comma five minus five comma five click ok the next uh, we select again after these objects and we can offset into minus three comma five click ok the next i will select uh, these objects and you can use trim tools we can cut at uh, this line objects okay you can cut and you can press shift button and check for uh, these lines and we check in here and i will cut this line objects okay the next at this point so we can cut again at uh, this uh, line objects uh, sorry we uncheck and cut and now i will select uh, these objects and also in here we can cut at this point and also in here okay you can click here to cut and uh, this point and also uh, i will select the select uh, this uh, selections and i will click at this point and in here now uh, we can cut this line objects and also in here the last at this point so we create uh, these uh, simple objects we also can select uh, this uh, objects line objects and cut in here and now we can draw line start from this point into here also from this point into here how to apply heads into these uh, regions you can select uh, these all objects okay select all these objects and you can click pen in here click cross hatch okay, you can use standard in here you can set for spacing in here like you can set into one for spacing or the other for example you can use one and you can uh, apply so it will be automatically apply in the selected objects you can close by clicking x icon at this uh, cross height uh, dialog box okay the next i will select uh, this all objects and we can use mirror tools you can uh, click in here hold and choose a mirror this uh, icon mirror i will click start from center points and you can press control button hold to copy click to the top here so it will be copy into the right here next we can create line start from this point and move into here and also from this point into this point okay now the next uh, we can apply dimension into this uh, sketch you can click in here for uh, dimension i will use horizontals but for i will set uh, for dimension in here you can click standard okay in here i will set into one also in here one one and for next offset we can set into two two and two can click ok we set again for text size in here click others and i will set into two click ok click dimension again and i will set for arrow size in here we can set into one so in here one and in here we can set into one we can click ok the next we can apply start from this point and point and click at this point okay you can press shift button click at this dimension and move to the bottom here we click again start from this point into here okay the next uh, from this point into here uh, sorry uh, we need to change for uh, dimensions or uh, commands you can click at this objects or you can press ctrl plus z to undo and we can change in here into vertical click from this point into here okay the next from this point into this point you can press shift button hold and we move uh, this dimension okay the next uh, we grab again dimension from this point into this point and we can move into this point for the dimensions okay now for uh, cube you can change into cube of uh, icon in here radial arrow out dimensions and i will apply into these points also in here okay you can uh, press shift button hold uh, sorry you can click and you can move to here 
and we create again dimension at this point okay i will move into here click at this point uh, we can undo i will click star from this point and also in here we can press escape button and we can move uh, this dimension okay the next uh, we create again in here also this point and in here okay in here you can uh, move for uh, this uh, dimension you can edit into this point also in uh, this dimension you can press at this point so there are uh, two dimension can delete and i will apply into here and we can move into this point okay the next uh, how to plotting this uh, sketch you can click here view and click sheet into view and i will use scale into two with uh, paper size we can set into portrait view and you can click ok so it will be automatically placed in a view in here if you want to set into singles you can undo and click again view sheet view for scale 2 and in here we can set into a4 portrait with uh, one view click here and you can click ok so it will be placed into one view to change the uh, title block you only use a selection and double click at this point for example and you can set that in here you can change you can close and to print out you can click uh, files print and it will be automatically print these uh, objects okay enough today for graphic software basic tutorial how to sketching if you have any question about these uh, tutorials you can comment below this video